Hello, fam. Welcome back to another episode of the ABS show. Hello, everyone. Yes, Hi. you've just tuned into Mina TV. So go ahead and subscribe to our wonderful channel. Yep. Yes, we have a wonderful new co host yes. in our midst. Everybody, help me welcome Miss Lola. Hey. Hey. Hi, Lola. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Welcome to the ABS show. Yes, yes. Yes, yes it's out today, but Lola is in. Mm -hmm. Lola, tell us about yourself, where you're from, and how did you end up on the ABS show? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, um, I'm Nigerian, and I'm from okay. Texas. Okay, I moved okay. here to New York a year ago. Welcome. And, thank you. Welcome. And so far... the building. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so far, I really like it, and um, I got on the ABS show because I reached out to Mina, mm. and I had a talk with her, and everything seemed to go well. So she I'm glad awesome. to be here. Yeah, well, we're glad, glad to have you. Yes, are you ready, mm. Miss? Yes, yes, welcome yes, back. Yes. We missed you last week. Thank you. I missed you guys <laughs> too. I really did. Thanks for copying me, though. Tell me here, figure. He didn't yeah, get the like memo. they are so <laughs> coordinated today. Did not get the memo, <laughs> yeah, Charlie. Yes. Yeah. Charlie. Right, so let's get into the news because okay. that's why um, our viewers are tuning today. They want to see. They want to hear from us. So, Timani, what do you have for us today? APC, PDP, Ocean hmm. State is on fire. Ocean State is a state <laughs> in Nigeria. And they just recently had an election mm. for governorship. And that is the same state where the dancing senator was a candidate for election under PDP. Mm. PDP is a party, it's a political party, People's Democratic Party. Okay. And the opposing party was APC, yeah. All People's Congress. So what happened was they first had an election the previous Saturday. Mm -hmm. And from the results of the election, PDP was leading. Okay. So PDP was leading by about 353 votes. And the, the INEC some way, somehow said that the, conc the um, election results were declared inconclusive. Okay. Mm. Then there was going to be a rerun. So they said they were going to do a rerun in seven local governments in that state. And the rerun was done last week, Thursday. And all of a sudden, after the rerun, the rerun PDP lost and APC that lost before won. Hmm. And that's what happens in Nigeria when it comes to politics. If the incumbent government don't win an election, they will cancel or nullify the election and do a rerun to make sure they win, they win. no matter what. So right now, there's like a black day in Oshun State. Everybody's oh, wow. obsessed because the whole election was crazy. There was even on Thursday during the election, the military was on the streets. They were shooting guns. They were scaring people so people oh, wouldn't wow. come out to vote in those local governments. Mm. And some way, somehow, they rigged it and APC is back in power. Huh. So what do you guys So think? is it the same senator that Davido was yeah, Davido's um, supporting? Uncle. Yeah. Davido's uncle. Yeah. People really love that man. Yeah. So they wanted him to win, at least for a change. Upon all that campaigning and all that dancing and he's still lost. My dear. <laughs> Listen, like, this, this is how I feel about this situation. Until your voting system changes in mm -hmm. Nigeria, this is going to happen. You guys are still counting uh, uh, by, hand, by, right. by hand. True though. Every, you know, people can cheat with, with situations like this. And mm -hmm. the corruption. And they steal ballot boxes sometimes. Mm -hmm. The ballot box will just disappear. Go borrow leg. Now, wow. <laughs> and this is, so until that changes, I feel right. like... It's still, we're still going to be hearing this news over and over and over again. But I thought the whole idea of having the PVC is for them to have like biometrics that they just go and scan and put mm. their votes in. True. I didn't know that they still had to do the, you know, the ballot box, like actual paper. Yeah. But Mind you, it was a whole yeah. hustle trying to get the PVC. PVC yeah. Even until now in Nigeria, you, yeah. you, something you're entitled to, to use as a voter, mm -hmm. they give you a hard time getting it. Like trying to make sure that they don't have enough people turn up for the voting. But then, if you don't have enough people turn up for the voting, you can't really rig properly because then you don't have the number the number. Statistics. You don't have yeah. exactly. So you don't have people registered enough to vote, mm. so you can hide and then increase your number of voters. Do you know what I'm saying? True. So like. I don't know how they think. I mean, if you want to steal, steal properly. No, the thing is, they don't really care. Like, mm. they're doing it in your face. Yeah. And you can't do anything about it. The PVC is called the Public Voters Card. Mm -hmm. yeah. And before you can vote, you must get that card. Right. So there was even an issue. Even Davido had to post it on his page mm -hmm. because there were some discrepancies. Okay, for example, people register to vote in a local government. Yeah. Let's say 3,000 people have their PVCs mm -hmm. and they were bringing results from that local government for about 4,000 plus voters. So who are the extra people? without their PVCs and they were still allowed to vote. But can we, all, can we always get it right though? Because when 
when it comes to elections, even the American election was allegedly rigged, rigged right. by, you know, Russians Russia, or whatever the yeah. case might be. So it's like, can we ever get it right in Africa? Can we ever get it right in Nigeria? It, th this kind of scares me. But what was his platform, though? Why, why is he so bad that people don't like him? He, well, I mean, compared to are you, are the dancing the, senator. Okay, the dancing senator, the APC guy was, mm -hmm. as in during his regime, or mm -hmm. the APC regime, they've been in power for the past four years, mm -hmm. nothing has really happened in Austrian states. Oh, okay. Nothing positive. Just embezzling, 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 and now going back to another four years of embezzling. So people are just pretty much crying for change. The corruption is, is so bad that one person is equal to 10 votes. Mm. Listen, ask me how. is so quiet. I want to know what she thinks <laughs> yeah, about this. Yeah, I was going to say, like, <laughs> what is kind of the point of even voting? Because I know they hyped up the new PVC, but mm -hmm. if it's going to be rigged anyway, it kind of just decreases motivation to go out there and vote. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Everybody should just stay home then. How about that? Because it's like, when we come out to vote, it doesn't count. Mm -hmm. When it counts, you want to recount it or you want to uh, yeah. do it Double again. It. It's like, yeah. you know, you can win. It's when crazy. you lose, or you can't even it's lose. It's ridiculous. When you win. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I honestly, the bloodshed, the whole, like you said, dancing, mm -hmm. um, the campaigning, <sighs> the money spent, now. people <laughs> jumping around on the street, mm -hmm. and to what end? To losing, and even if the person do win, they still turn around and say, "No, you lost," mm -hmm. and then recount. So. It really doesn't, it's not motivating enough for somebody to say, you know what, I stand for Nigeria, I stand for Africa. We're, how do we ever stop the whole corruption? Yeah. When does it stop? Even when the youth are trying to make sure it stops, it still runs, it, it yeah. still pierces through. Like, yeah. I don't, it hurts because mm. I know that it's in Oshun state, mm. but then we have 36 states. It's going to happen in every other state because these are the yeah, predominant yeah. parties in all 36 coming. states. It's still the same APC, it's still the same PDP, and then as they have the other ones, the SDP and co. Mm. But then it's still going to keep happening. So how do we make this whole issue come to a minimum? Yeah. How do we stop it? I feel like the younger generation, we have to speak up and like we really need to start getting involved to make the changes. Because like you said, this has been going on for so long in Nigeria. Everyone knows about the corruption in politics. So, I mean, it's really up to the upcoming generation to really make some changes. Right. But how do yeah. they speak up if when they're coming out to vote, like you mentioned, they're they shooting, mm -hmm. yeah. they're fighting, and it's they're not bullied. even safe anymore. Yeah. So how do we they get threat letters? Out to, yeah. Even one guy called Mr. Jalof that is very outspoken, mm -hmm. he's from Worry. He wanted to contest for a position of counselorship in Delta State. Mm -hmm. He got so many threat letters, yeah. so many calls, True. and he's been saying it on social media that they're threatening his life, oh, you understand? Because these people, they don't care. They have power, they have money. True. So they can end, end your life in a minute. So the solution yeah. is to kill all of them. But you mentioned social media and I feel that's the power that we have mm -hmm. as young people. We can take it to social media, you know, get it on the national stage, and then I feel people will start to care. Because like you said, if it's just within Nigeria, it's like, okay, yeah. nothing we can do. But when you take it to social media, I really feel that that All can make change. All eyes on me, mm -hmm. right. Davido actually posted so much about it, and this was one of the most important things he said on the day of the election. He said, we report to the whole world that in Oshun State, Today, no supplementary poll took place. It was all violence and on disguised breaching of all electoral rules. The APC is pushing violently to steal people's mandate freely given to them by the oppressed people of Austrian states. And that was exactly what happened. I actually saw some videos. People took recordings from their windows. Mm -hmm. They saw uh, the, the army, the soldiers were all over the streets, shooting guns, scaring people wow. to stay indoors. Yeah. Yeah. Because, I mean, you don't want no bullets on you. So people didn't really come out to vote. Mm -hmm. So we all know it was rigged. And I, I really hope um, other celebs, not just Davido, also spoke on this issue because we need to get the word out there, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, All right, so let's move on to the next topic, and <laughs> you have this one for us. Yes, 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 we are not going far. We're uh -oh. going next door, Ghana. Uh -oh. All right. So, <laughs> Ghana has agreed to support U.S. plan to deport her citizens. What? Yes. Oh, my people. So, let me give you the full gist. Yes. So, the, the U.S. ambassador, um, the, the Ghana ambassador to U.S., Dr. Bafo Ajay, Ajay. I'm yes. sorry if I mm -hmm. butchered the name. Bafo Ajay. Bafo Ajay. He said that they have come to terms with the U.S. government to, um, in a nice way, deport the citizens. Well, what kind of deportation is okay, nice? So deportation is deportation. <laughs> <laughs> so, Look, okay, it can be violent, okay? Like the way South yeah. Africans people are doing it. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so at oh, least... Oh, no, no, not that kind of... Oh, no, I'm just saying. I, <laughs> Not that kind of uh, deportation. Okay. So there are about 7,000 Ghanaians that are waiting for deportation. There are different stages of the deportation process. Mm -hmm. And so he's saying that they've come to an agreement with the, U uh, the United States government to do it in a proper way where the, the citizens are not disrespected, they're not harmed, mm -hmm. they are still 
you know, going through the right channels to get home. Mm. He said that the reason why they had hiccups in the past with the United States government with regards to the same issue was because they didn't have the information that the United States government was asking for. Mm. Reason being that a lot of the Ghanaians that come into the state do not go to the embassy to register that they are here. Mm. So when um, the government was asking for information from them, from um, the um, Ghana, they couldn't give the information that information. they didn't have. Yeah. So, but now they've come to some, some kind of compromise to help with the transition and to make sure that the transition is, you know, smooth. So there's a smooth transition of deportation. Apparently there is. Uh, so they'll be treated nicely, like, oh, you're about to go home. You want hot coffee or something? Like yeah, basically, basically, I don't know what they're time. saying. They're not going to more um, mistreat them. Yeah. Like, they're going to give them at least the due process of going right. through the but right you, way. But can you trust that? Because isn't the same President Trump the one who talked bad about African countries? Sure. Calling oh, them shit yeah. holes? Sure. Yeah. She so holds. you can't, you That's can't trust. True. Listen, this is what you, in some neighborhood and in some hood, you know, they call a person like this a snitch, mm -hmm. okay? Because you're working for the white man. Mm -hmm. You're working to get your own people deported. These are the same people Charlie that... Charlie said that. Yeah, but he's Just being say, honest. I'm really for the being first honest. Time. These are the these are the same people that travel from Ghana to America for greener pasture, mm -hmm. right? Because if everything was good and great, I'm sure they wouldn't have left. They True. came here to to make money to feed their children. Mm -hmm. So my whole situation in this is bar for a J. If you're helping deport seven thousand people back yeah. to Ghana, do you have jobs for them? Mm -hmm. Waiting Ooh. for them when they get there. Preach, baby. Ooh. I'm just saying. Do you have like you? Uh, What's uh, the plan? What's the president's name again? Which president? Uh, our current president. Nala Kofuado. Nala Kofuado. You promised. Nala Kofuado. You promised them one district, one factory, mm. and up to now, I haven't seen any factories and any industries that you are building. No. Mm. So all these people coming back to Ghana, what are they going to? What are? What are? Where are they, they going to work? To? What are they gonna, coming back to? For me, this is a, this is sad. Mm. Actually, this is sad for me, honestly. Oh to be honest God. with you, right? When I, when <laughs> I first saw, <laughs> when I first saw, because we had an episode before mm -hmm. regarding the same issue, and when I first heard the story, I was like, yes, right on. Do not give in to the white man. Mm -hmm. Do not give them the information they need. Yes. Give them a hard time. And yeah. now that I'm hearing this, where he's saying that, you know, they've come to terms with it mm -hmm. and they can try. I'm very heartbroken. Mm -hmm. I don't care if you don't have it. Okay, so you said they didn't go to the embassy to register. And so that you don't have information to give them. So why did you now decide to agree with the U.S. government to do that? Mm -hmm. They were the ones that gave them visa. So the same U.S. to figure out how to go about doing this without involving the, yeah. the Ghanaian, gov Ghanaian government. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, why, yeah. why involve the Ghanaian government? Because now, if they go home, they're going to hold you, the, who was the ambassador, who agreed to it, responsible. Especially when you have all 7,000 of them in the country doing nothing. Hmm. Wait, so, the, 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 the 7,000 that are here? Yeah. I'm, I'm sure they're not doing nothing. I'm sure they are doing the, the kind of jobs that you guys will not oh, do. Oh, in, the uh, kind of jobs that these white people will not do in this country. You know what? I'm sure they are working, yeah, they, they are behind working. all. Yeah. Okay, we now, are not lazy people. We, know we that, are not. Well, but Charlie, we know that we are not. But okay. guess what the, the, um, the U.S. ambassador to Ghana said? What did they say? He said that the most of the people that are going back home all have criminal records. They have, yes. Who from said petty that? petty crime to, I'll tell you his name right now. Give me a second. His name oh, is lies. his name is Robert right. P. Jackson. Yes, he said that they all overstayed their welcomes and they're welcome that's the in the state. No. That's the only crime. That's the only crime. It's a setup, ranging mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. ranging from that's the yeah. It is. Of course, they're not going to make you seem make it seem as involved. though they're sending regular mm -hmm. seven thousand hardworking Americans back tonight to to, yeah, um, to, to Africa. They're immigrants. Uh, regardless, I mean they've been here for a while, right? America is America. the land of the free. Is it Whose not? Is it America is an immigrant it's land. It's not even his land. It's not even for yes, the white no. people. Yes, no. America is an immigrant land. So if you're here, whether or not you're, you're Ghanaian or whatever, once you get here, even though you're an immigrant, you're American until you, you naturalize. So, mm. like, you now having to send 7,000 people back home, of course you're going to make it seem as though they're terrible people, yeah, 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 ready from yeah. scam to murderers mm -hmm. to... Why are they not in jail? If they're all these things, why are they just roaming around on... The jail is full. They should all please right, sit out, though, man. I'm, just, I'm <laughs> mad that he actually allowed that to yeah. happen. I'm upset about that. Well, what do you think? It's a setup. I mean, yeah, I feel like it's a setup, and he obviously cut some deal with Trump. Mm -hmm. I mean, because... Times yeah. two. Money exactly. Money. Yes. It's always about money, because mm -hmm. why all of a sudden are you buddy buddy with Trump? Right. Mm -hmm. Look at how he smiles. He probably got some five thousand dollars in his pocket. Five thousand. Yeah, five thousand. Not even five thousand. The thing that's is, that's in a month. I know. I'm gonna take that picture now. Trump will be like, "Get this monkey out of here." He probably exactly. said something oh. nasty. Because he's not respect the black man. Yes, that's I said that. For the black man. I did. 
Trump has no respect for Africans. For he the would, black man. He would talk about you even in your face. So smiling with him makes it, there's no, there's, that is a very stupid picture. You shouldn't be laughing, kicking with this madman. You shouldn't be signing deals with Trump. Exactly. That's what makes it so shocking. Because mm. it's like, you know what he says. He means it exactly what he says. Yes. And you still want to strike deals with him? Come mm. on now. To bring you your people better. back home, to deport your people, however nice they want to put it. Yeah. I heard something about um, Ghana taking charge of the deportation, like the cost of sending them back home. Is that true? No. Nah, what? If I hear. Because no. I... <laughs> if, you, if you want to send people back home, honey, mm -hmm. you better get that plane, do what you need to do to get them out of your country. Simply. I'm not going to pay for you to bring my children to my house. But, but yeah, I want to be there. Though, I have to say, though, to my people in Ghana, who is signing the deal to get those white people out of Ghana, and those Chinese people out of Ghana, mm. and those Lebanese people out of Ghana. Great, Charlie. Who's signing those deals? True. I want to know. True. Call me, DM me, because I want to know. Because okay. there's some BS going yes. on right now. True. All right, so let's move on to the next topic. Please, please, please. And Miss Lola, you have this one. Yes. What's going on? Well, we're going back to Nigeria. Uh -oh. Okay. So <laughs> Nigeria's first lady, Aisha Buhari, mm. she ordered arrest of her own aide-de-camp for fraud charges this past week. Um, he embezzled 2.5 billion naira. Hey, you said what? 2.5 billion naira. So okay, that's. So wow. I don't understand this naira situation, Timani. How much is that in dollars? 6.8 million. 6.8 million. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what's, what's happening in the story? Um, One person. <laughs> exactly. So okay, he's the head of police. He basically would ask for donations from different politicians, just citizens, regular people, and pocket the money. Mm. So when Aisha found out she ordered his arrest, she told him to refund the money. But come on, who's going to refund the 6.8 right. million U.S. dollars? Yeah. Where did it go? What did he spend it on? It's not in Nigeria. It's but, probably but, in Swiss Bank somewhere. Wait, already. hold on. If you get money like that, I'm pretty sure there's, there has to be some kind of sign. You have to do some kind of investment. Do they not investigate the people that they... That, that they have working for them? In Nigeria? Yeah, I mean, I'm just saying, in the government. <laughs> yeah, hey, it's don't, in the don't government, though. Because like, you thing. remember, it all has to do with you don't want to have your image tarnished. Even though you're doing those things, you want to be careful about it. So you do have to have some kind of investigative system set up where if something is out of place, you could easily tell. Hmm. So but, do they not have that to, for him to embezzle that much money? People, but this man, there are people in on it, though, I'm yeah. sure. He, he just be. took the fall, I'm sure. Yeah, but you said this man is at ADC, so he's, a, he's somebody that has a lot of power. Mm -hmm. And there are so many things that will go under his table as well, so he has a say. What I feel about this case is I think Aisha Buhari is trying to separate herself from the crime. You is it so? possible that she wouldn't know anything about it? I just want to give her a snap because at least, you know, she's trying to do... <laughs> <laughs> I feel like she's, she's trying to do the right thing here. Yes, right? which but is the, to the arrest men him. in power are not doing it. Mm -hmm. And we have this woman that has integrity and that want to be transparent. You don't, you don't believe her? I, I, okay, I so her. Yeah, let me just you say, don't think she didn't know anything. Exactly. Oh, that's that's not what she she Listen, come she's just doing her job. She sent you DM. Wait <laughs> Aisha? There's a reason why I asked that question. You didn't know question. anything about it. You didn't. Wait, you were just wait. doing your job. Charlie, there's a reason why I asked that question. Do they not have some kind of investigative system set up so that when things like that say, happen, you can tell, you can, you know? Because there's no way this would happen around her. And that's her ADP. There's no ADC. There's no how this would happen around her and she wouldn't know about it. She was there's focused no, on other things. No, other like, things like what? Like I'm being pretty in the sure other room. She, she's like, <laughs> right at this point, it's just who to take the fall, somebody mm -hmm. else to, to, to take the blame. Because remember that it's about time for them to get out of office. Mm. They're already closing up shop. They're you know getting that? Out. Buari is going to get in for if the next I hear, He knows he's not getting in. Buari is going to get... I said it here. Buari is going to win the next election. Buari will oh not my win. Goodness. If he okay. loses, they will do a rerun and he will and win. Like it didn't. Like really like so. I know so. State, right? I'm telling you, it's so terrible. So for me, six point eight million dollars—that's a lot of money, right? Exactly. Yes, okay, it is. so it's it's lost. Where is it? Can we trace it to somebody else's village? Yeah, like, because all she like, says is where it's it's he should where, refund the money yeah, because it's it, it's becoming like a trend in Nigeria where mm. money just. Like okay. last year, yes. mm -hmm. we spoke about it last week when like a whole tank of money mm -hmm. was gone, and today is this. It's like it's becoming a thing. How do we solve it? Like because really, I'm really tired about it. Yeah. I don't want to hear another money vanishing in Nigeria. How do we solve situations like this? But can but can you solve it? Because everyone knows politics in Nigeria is corrupt. Mm -hmm. So I mean, they're gonna do it because they know they can get away with it. I'm just shocked at the amount 6.8 million, million that's a lot of US money. dollars that's a lot of somebody's really really rich somewhere because <laughs> just still in the money like you know what you only have one life to live let me just see in case they can catch me catch me 
That's then, why I feel like Aisha Buhari cannot just be innocent. She has to know okay. something. The a only lot of, reason a lot she of had him arrested is to, to has glorify she made any her statement? name. Mm -hmm. like, what, has she made any statements about um, this? Is she, like, are, are the FBI she, investigating this situation? Which, which FBI? FBI? Which FBI? FBI. In FBI. Nigeria. I'm just saying. <laughs> right. <laughs> the ADC, is he not a part of the military? Uh, yes. Yeah? He's, he's so the head of police. So who wants to investigate? Is the head of police? So he's going to investigate himself. And she just made a statement saying she doesn't know um, anything, about, about, anything it. about it, which I personally don't believe because he was close to her. Um, he had the access. Um, but... She just told him to refund the money. Of course, the money is gone by now. So where do we go from here, like you guys said? So initially, the money was supposed to be used for what, exactly? He said, well, he, he just would ask for donations. He mm -hmm. would go to different politicians. He would go to citizens, different states mm. in Nigeria, and say, oh, donate to Buhari. Donate to the government. And for then he would just pocket it. Yeah, and he would just pocket it. That is smart. That's a smart one. It is a smart... Uh, but I, I can't really um, blame mm. this, like... I can't really blame her entirely because if somebody is coming to you for donations, don't just give the money. Yeah. Know exactly where your money is going to. Mm -hmm. Because I could just dress up and come to you like, oh, I'm building a bridge mm -hmm. here at some states. Can you donate? And, and then stupidly, you're also donating. So this also is a lesson to everybody out there right. watching. Mm -hmm. You know, when people come knocking on your door asking for donations, you really have to know what, where your money is but going Charlie, to. But what if he has proof, though? What? Because, I mean, you already know he's the ADC. And he, you know he's the, whomever, it is, whomever it is that he went to knows that he's affiliated to... To Aisha, Aisha Buhari. Mm -hmm. So if he comes to you and tell you, "Oh, this is what the this is what's going on. We want you to donate." Obviously, you wouldn't question it because you know you know he's credible. Mm -hmm. It's just that no, I will question it. Yeah, but, but I don't to blame the extent, people. Though, like even though they even when they he can give you documents, dude. This, this yeah. is this oh, is some real stuff. They could give you documents telling you that you know what is legit. I want you to donate. This is what's going on. He's had like she said, he has access. Mm. He can make copies of all those things that he needs. Show you paperwork, and you think you're Signatures actually donating to it, but you're donating to him. That's that's why I said it's a, that's a smart crime. Because yes, yeah. so the money is no for oh, what? No, <laughs> that's a smart crime. Because now the money is untraceable. Mm -hmm. We can't find the money. Mm -hmm. We don't have. They only saying that they, they the people donated, but there's no proof for the donations. Yeah. So. Well, you know what's not so smart is our next topic, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna get right into it. A Nigerian housewife poisoned her stepdaughter with locally made insecticide. Are you serious? Yes, yeah, known as Otapia Pia. Otapia Pia. Otapia Pia. There we go. <laughs> no, why? Me, let me get into the story. So, um, that's her right now. Her name is Zula Kab Kabiru. Ooh. She's 20 years old and she's the first wife. Oh, so, nice. basically, her husband married a second wife and she disapproved of it. So, she decided. Why does she look so young, though? She's 20, she's 20 years old. 20 years old. How. And how old was this child? So she's probably a child the the right. child was eight months. So mm. the stepdaughter was eight months oh old God. and yeah, poisoned her Does she with have a insecticide. Reason? Basically, it's jealousy. Definitely, it, it was and jealousy. Witchcraft. So basically, she said that ever since the husband married the second wife, she had she had less attention from the man, and yeah, just just like that, she wasn't thinking. She actually blamed the devil for it. Of course. Yes. <laughs> so what do you guys think about this situation? Is this something that you've never heard before happening in Africa, happening in Nigeria? It's, it's not new. No, I've heard of it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, she obviously, like you said, jealousy is a hell of a drug. It will make you do things that you never even thought you could do. Mm. Um, but yeah, that's insecurity, jealousy, um, immaturity. Um, but again, it, like how evil can you be? You know? well, this is what she actually said. She was like, I warned my husband against marrying another wife, but he didn't listen. The second wife was in the habit of insulting and assaulting me all the time. And she continued to say it was the work of the devil. I didn't know when I did it. It was a wicked act. So for me, yeah. at least she knows that it was the devil. I knew, at least she knows that it was a wicked act from her. And like you said, jealousy... And I think he needs. She needs to be in jail. Like, yeah, I yeah. just, I just feel like when you do something like that, please don't blame any entity that we can't see. Own up That's to what your. I to say. When yeah. you do something like that, own up to it. Mm -hmm. Fess up to it. You had the balls to go get a tapia pia, an insecticide, and put it in an eight-month-old child's mouth or mm. a bottle of food. 
own up to what you did. Say, I did it, and I did it because I wanted to do it. Don't say because I was jealous because of... Don't make excuses. Don't make excuses. Those excuses will have faded out at some point between the time you got that insecticide and put it in the baby's Eight mouth. Months. So don't make excuses for yourself. You did what you did, mm. and that's that. You're a wicked person who needs to die in jail. That's an eight-month baby. She didn't do anything to you. That's mm. a baby. She had no knowledge of but what happened. But she's young, too. 20 years old. But you know what you're That's doing. That's not an excuse. 20, yeah. 20, at 20 mm. years old, you know what you're doing. You got, she got married, right? Does she have any kids? Well, she, that's, not, no. that's not even the issue. She, they're Muslims, right? Yeah. And in the Muslim religion... Oh, oh you're about to start that again. Wait no. now. Let me let me. <laughs> they'll land. be coming for us in the comments. No, they can talk. come. Okay. I'm just giving stating facts. I, mm -hmm. I don't even want to say anything negative. In the mm -hmm. Muslim religion, mm -hmm. in most of its deep religion, a man is allowed to have four wives. If you can take care of them. Add that to it. Whether you can, just all, all the ones that are drinking zobo in, in the north, how many can they take care of? Ah, but it's just, <laughs> I'm just saying that it's, it's, it's part of their religion. Yeah. You get so mm -hmm. she supposed to understand better because mm -hmm. they always marry them at 13, 12. Yeah, they they force rights. them into mature into maturity so mm -hmm. fast. So she has no excuse as far as I'm concerned. He's just a second wife. He hasn't mm -hmm. even brought the third and the fourth, and he will right. still marry more. Oh whether my man, like, Whether she likes it or not. For me, at what point did she think this was a great idea? When she woke up in the morning, or when she was on her way to buy the otapia pia? Mm -hmm. At what point would you stop and think, hmm, maybe I might be doing something yeah. wrong here? And for me, this is a wicked, like, do you know how it's like a suffering death? It's not mm -hmm. like, you know, you jump from a, a temple yeah. and then you just die like this. Oh, like, when, when you are being poisoned with that stuff, when doing my research, you go, you go to muscle itching. Like your mm. muscle will be itching, yeah, yeah. difficulty breathing. <laughs> yeah. So it's like the process in which, in which the baby it's probably a died. That's a pain. That OMG, painful. I can't even I can't even think about it. Lock her up and throw away the keys. No. Don't feed her e either. You don't say this, you kill her. <laughs> uh, mm. Don't say it because you're about to say what kill her. her. <laughs> she was she? arrested. She was arrested. Oh, okay. Yeah, she, okay. I mean the, Arrested. If you have money, you bail yourself out. We are talking about Africa now. Mm. Who are we kidding? Mm. Right? True. Sis, what do you think we should really do to this lady right here? Because she's wicked. Well, I think the same thing should happen to her if she has kids. Like, she should know the pain that that wife went through. And, like, on my dad's side, um, his um, father was Muslim and he had multiple wives. Mm. And they all got along. I mean, they didn't really like each other, of mm -hmm. course, because of the situation. But they never did anything like this. So, you know, like you guys were saying, you have so much wickedness in your heart to do this to a baby. Mm. Like, that's what's so shocking. Like you said, the death that that baby went through, that's so messed up. Yeah, definitely. And if you if you hate the mother so bad, then attack the mother. I'm exactly. not saying attack the mother. I'm the not baby. saying, I'm exactly. not preaching that, but you know, uh, why? Is, is a better option. <laughs> Maybe she just wants the mother to, to really, Feel really hurt. Because I mean, like, your baby is dead. So, like, really, that's which that product that came out from the union of her husband and mm -hmm. that woman, she wants to eliminate it like no more. So now that it's no more, you self, auntie, bye-bye, you're gone. Bye. And I hope you <laughs> die in there too. All right, so she's going to be going and we are going to be going as well. All right. But until next time, you're watching the ABS show and this is Mina TV. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching. And if you liked this episode, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. See you next time.